Assalamu alaikum, my name is Safa Alam and today I'll be teaching you about enzymes. Well, when talking about enzymes, what's the first thing that comes into your mind? Um, catalyst, obviously catalyst. So what do catalysts actually do? Catalyst karta kya hai? So a catalyst actually speeds up a reaction. Then what's the difference between an enzyme and a catalyst? Well, an enzyme is just, in bio, but just a biological catalyst and it works inside our body. Our reactions are speed up. Our body temperature that is 37 degrees Celsius. If there is temperature pe reactions, hone lage, to it's going to take years and we don't want that. If it takes years, how will body get out of How is it going to stay alive? And for that, we need enzymes. Enzymes ka optimum temperature, the temperature at it works at which it works the best is 37 degrees Celsius. So what are enzymes? Enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up a reaction in the living system without being used up in the process. Let's add uh, an extra pointer over here. The name enzyme was given by Frederick Wilhelm in 1878. Okay, now coming to the topic activation energy. Well, activation energy is like a push. It's the minimum amount of energy required to start a reaction. So reactants have to reach that specific energy to um, react together and so that products can be formed. So um, what's the role of enzymes over here? What enzymes do is that the enzymes provide an alternative route for the reaction to take place. And that route has a lower activation energy. This means that the enzymes will not have to do more effort for a reaction to start. Rate of reaction increase hota hai agar aapka activation energy decrease hota hai. Ab hum baat karenge characteristics of enzymes. Number one, enzymes are highly specific for a particular substrate. Agar substrate uske active site per fit nahi ho paega, to reaction akar nahi hoga. Enzymes remain unchanged during the reaction itself. Reaction hone ke baavajood, enzymes na to tootte hain, they don't break or they are not used in the process. Enzymes are affected by pH, acidity and alkalinity of their surroundings. They are affected by temperature. Temperature zada hoga, to bhi nuksan, temperature kam hoga, the reaction hi nahi hoga. They are inhibited by inhibitors and accelerated by activators. Inhibitors kya karte hain? Inki activity ko rog dete hain. Or accelerators kya karte hain? Inki activities ko accelerate karte hain. Some require coenzymes. And most important thing is that they're all proteinaceous in nature. Except for ribozymes, obviously. Now let's talk about a part on enzyme that's called the active site. Well, active site is like a hollow um, space or a depression on the surface of the enzyme. The part of the enzyme where the substrate binds is called the active sites. So here the substrate is attached to the and hydrogen bonds form in between. And when the substrate enzyme is attached to the active site, then the enzyme is called the enzyme substrate complex. When the substrate enzyme is attached to the enzyme substrate complex, and this and the process that is happening over here is known as catalysis. Catalysis is when the substrate is changed. It could be broken down or combined with another molecule to make something new. Yani product ban raha hai It will break or build chemical bonds. A jesse catalysis over hota hai. Enzyme kya karta hai? Release karta hai product ko. Our enzyme is not used up. Main ye Enzyme is ready to go and uh, work on other molecules and make other um, products. This phenomenon is known as a lock and key. It's called lock and key. It's called lock and key. Or phir ja ke aapka um, log khulta hai. Usi way mein ek enzyme ke upar ek substrate perfectly fit hota hai for the reaction to occur. 
Likewise, there is another phenomenon, the induced fit phenomenon. Well, in uh, induced fit phenomenon, there is a slight change in the active site of the enzyme. When a substrate comes and attaches to the active site, a conformational change occurs in the active site. Now, what happens is that the active site changes its shape change karta hai in a way so that it could tightly fit um, the substrate into it. And then the same happens. Um, reactions take place and products are formed, just as in the lock and key. The induced fit model was suggested by Daniel Ko- uh, Koshland in 1958. Talking about the types of enzymes, enzymes has a lot of types. Protein enzymes are those enzymes that are only and only made up of proteins. Conjugated enzymes are those that are made up of two parts when they connect with each other. Um, one part is a proteinaceous part and the other one is could be any other um, substance which is known as the Hall enzyme. The Hall enzyme can be divided into two parts. The APO enzyme or the APO enzyme, whatever you call it, that is a protein group. While the other one is a prosthetic group, that is a non-protein group. And it's further divided into two groups. Um, number one, cofactor, that is an inorganic prosthetic group. And the second one is the coenzyme, that is organic prosthetic group. Okay, so now talking about the factors that can regulate the enzyme activity. The four major factors that um, regulate the enzyme activity are um, pH, substrate concentration, temperature, and enzyme concentration. As I told you before that the optimum temperature for an enzyme to work is 37 degrees centigrade. So if the temperature deviates from 37 degree, uh, degrees centigrade, um, the enzyme would not work to its fullest. If it goes below 37 degrees centigrade, what will the enzyme not Because it does not have enough kinetic energy to actually support the work. And if it goes beyond 37 degrees centigrade, that could be like anything about 40 degrees centigrade, um, it's going to get denatured. It's a protein or agar protein uh, ko zada heat mile or temperature zada mile, to it's going to denature. Just like an egg when it's heated or when it's boiled, um, it hardens. It's not ren- runny anymore. Talking about pH, um, the best pH at which an uh, enzyme works is obviously 7, that is neutral. If it's too alkaline, it won't work. If it's too, ba- um, too acidic, it won't work. Obviously, it needs the surrounding to be um, at the most optimum pH, that is 7, and it wants it, it wants it to be neutral. Substrate concentration. Um, increasing the substrate concentration also increases the rate of reaction to a certain point. Jab sade enzymes um, substrate enzyme complex banachu ke honge, to increasing the substrate concentration won't have an effect on the rate of reaction. Aapka graph jo hoga, wo straight ho jayega. As the available enzymes will be saturated, fully saturated ho jayega, uske paas or koi jaga nahi hogi um, to uh, make a substrate enzyme complex. Or us waq, enzyme apne maximum rate tak work kar raha hoga. Rate of reaction and enzyme concentration, these two are proportional to each other. Rate of um, reaction badhega, jaise jaise aapka enzyme concentration badhega. And um, coming to the inhi- part where inhibitors act, um, the rate of reaction decreases as uh, the inhibitors increase. There are two types of inhibitors, the competitive inhibitors and the non-competitive inhibitors. The competitive ones, they, they work in a way that they attach to the active site. Their shape is almost or uh, kind of same as the substrate of the enzyme. They attach to the active site and they cause um, inhibition of the reaction. They stop it, they bring it to a halt, and in that way, no reaction takes place. The other non competitive inhibition. Um, non competitive is that the Jo, um, inhibitor hota hai, wo attach karta hai to a place that is other than the active site, which is known as a lost site. 
अब चूँकि इनहिबिटर एलोस्टेक साइड के साथ जाके बाइंड हो गया है तो वो क्या करेगा कि एंजाइम का जो एक्टिव साइट है उसके अंदर कॉन्फर्मेशनल चेंज ले आएगा अब चूँकि उसमें कॉन्फर्मेशनल चेंज आ गया है तो उसके जो स्पेसिफिक सब्सट्रेट होगा वो आके इस पर अटैच होगा ऑफिसली नहीं क्योंकि उसका शेप ही चेंज हो गया है अब वो उसके साथ बाइंड नहीं कर पाएगा अपने सब्सट्रेट के साथ तो क्या हो गया हमारे पास रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन इंक्रीज़ होगा वो डिक्रीज़ होगा आई एम सॉरी डिक्रीज़ होगा क्योंकि हमारे पास सब्सट्रेट और एंजाइम कॉम्प्लेक्स ही नहीं बनेगा और जो कि दोनों का कॉम्प्लेक्स नहीं बनेगा तो हमारे पास क्या होगा हमारे पास रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन डिक्रीज़ हो जाएगा इसको नॉन कॉम्पिटिटिव इसलिए कहा जाता है बिकॉज जो आपका सब्सट्रेट होता है वो एक्टिव साइट पे जाके अटैच नहीं हो रहा था कि कहीं और जाके अटैच हो सो द सब्सट्रेट इज़ फ्री टू अटैच टू इट और अगर इसका सब्सट्रेट कॉन्सट्रेशन का इंक्रीज भी कर देंगे तब भी इसके ऊपर ज़्यादा इफेक्ट नहीं आता बट इन कॉम्पिटिटिव अगर हम लोग अपना सब्सट्रेट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इंक्रीज कर देंगे तो आपके पास नेटिव रिएक्शन दोबारा से इंक्रीज हो सकता है एज द सब्सट्रेट इज इन कॉम्पिटिशन विद इनहिबिटर so those were our topics of today and i hope you liked um, our video please subscribe to it experiments with doctor's lab thank you for watching it allah hafiz